audio check, quick check, one quick check. Okay, chat. Um, can you confirm that you hear my mic and then game audio? I just need a con confirmation. I need to make sure I'm not playing my copyright music. <laughs> Confirming? Okay, cool. Can I have cereal? I have soup. You can hear Nobody can hear the... If anybody guesses the song I'm listening to, you're very cool. If anybody can guess the song I'm listening to, I'll gift you a sub. <laughs> I mean, everybody type in right now should be a sub anyway. No, it's not. Okay, you guys can't hear it then. Nobody got it. It's not WAP. I made kale soup. This is my second serving because I'm hungry because I didn't have lunch. It looks disgusting. It's because I'm eating it in a flat bowl because it cools down faster. It's potatoes, sausage, onion, and kale. You don't like kale? 
No wonder you're so short, Mac. Cross my fingers, Mac is short like me. Because, like, if I had this in a bigger bowl, I would mix it up, but... I kind of like when things are... I mean, different. It depends on what the food is. Like, if it's a burrito bowl, then I'll mix it all up. But if it's something like this, I, like... Where stuff is portioned out, separate. You're 5'7", damn. I guess you are tall. <laughs> it looks so healthy. I mean, my mom. She made me put in a whole bushel of kale. And it was, it was the pot was like this big. Like, you know, the... We made it in the pressure cooker. So a whole bushel of kale. It's like 90% kale, which is fine. I like kale. My sister did not like it, though. She's like, if you make this for us when we move out, can you please put, like, 50% less kale? And it's like, okay, well, you still, you still gotta get taller, my guy. <laughs> kale is so bad, though. It's so good. Okay, I need to turn my phone off. I left my... I left it on. Oopsie. Yeah, I think raw kale is icky, but I don't like kale when it's cooked. I feel like, I feel that way with most veggies. Because I don't like crunchy textures, typically. Okay, so chat is... I have a question. Do you guys want this overlay today? Or do you want this overlay? Which one do you guys want? Um, we'll call this full cam. Or do you want the crop? Wait, I did it in the wrong order. <laughs> do you want this one? Do you want the normal overlay? Or do you want this one, number two? Because I'm fine with either. Because I don't know if we'll be able, or if I'll have clips to repost, because I don't know how much talking I'm going to be doing. You okay with either? I think we can try this one for Animal Crossing. I just have to make the camera smaller. Two? Okay, we'll try full cam. Um, I just have to make it smaller. Because the crop for, like, Animal Crossing short form videos is... Oh, I'm so small, though. <laughs> I'm so small. Maybe... Okay, let's ungroup. <laughs> Piece I too small. Okay, I think I'm gonna move the chat and then we'll put face cam up here. No, I'm not gonna say U W U U. That's cringe as fuck. Maybe we could put cam in the... No, because the text is on the bottom. We'll put... We'll do it like this. Guys, this is all it takes to be a streamer. I swear, it doesn't take much. Okay, I gotta change the border color because it doesn't match. Oh, but then you guys can't see what song I'm listening to. See, I'm listening to... Ugh... Let me, let me, which layer is that? Um, I'll just copy this. Well, now she can't read. What? I don't know Lee Michelle and we're not going to drama farm, so I don't know. How's that? How's that? Why don't you make this small? I don't know where, where the- I hate this, like- Oh, what is this? No, I should- Guys, this is the quality you should expect from a sub-only stream. Yeah, I'll put it below me. It's gonna bother me. It's gonna bother me if it's not nice. Uh oh. 
the game went by. Uh oh. Wait, chatters hold. That, Crystal, I told you that command is a mod only command. You goof. Mod check game? Ayo, saved. Okay, I think. I think we are ready to go now, chatters. Are we happy with this? Type 1 if you're happy with this overlay. Be honest, be honest. Is it okay? Is it good? I was gonna prep this before stream, but... Oh my god, um... I was gonna start right at 7, but then it didn't work out because... As I was setting everything up, I realized that I have... I no longer have bits in the chat. So if you look in the bottom right corner of your chat box, there's a little coin icon now instead of bits. So essentially how they work is if you've ever watched a YouTube stream, it's essentially like a super chat. Meaning you can donate like one, five, ten, etc. dollars in the chat room. And you can type and it'll have like a highlight message in the chat room. The only problem is, uh, if you look at the leaderboard over here, if you're on desktop, I no longer have bits because I was automatically opted into the beta program for this donation function. So, you can see the bit icon? What the fuck? Well, that's weird because I should not have bits enabled. Anybody want to try? No, I'm kidding. Um... So I literally just got this like two hours ago because it wasn't there when we did our first stream. It's not out on mobile, really? Wait, let me check that. I'm on Twitch mode. Ooh, this is my favorite song. It's my all time favorite. The first time I heard this song, I literally cried. Let me open my own chat. Oh, yeah, you're right! I wish I could show you guys on desktop, but see, like... The, oh, it's not gonna focus. The bit emote is still there, but on desktop... Is it... Oh, that's interesting. So does that mean people can still cheer bits in my channel? Huh? I don't know. You cry to songs too? Yeah, it's fairly common. I cry all the time. <laughs> okay, well. Because, hmm. like, I can't cheer in my own channel. Like, earlier I tested out to see what the super chats look like, or the direct cheering they're called. If you are on Twitch desktop. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, like I said, I'm part of the new beta. I don't know exactly how it works, but. I just linked a, the actual Twitch help article that explains how direct sharing works. I guess it's only on desktop then. I love crying in my Squishmallows, honey. I think that's a problem. Not you crying, but having Squishmallows. Okay. The mission today. Is gather stars. Oh! Holy shit! No way, we have them already. Because <clears throat> apparently stars will spawn between 7 p.m. and then 4 a.m. So, chatters, we are gonna do a nine hour stream. That's right, you heard it here. <laughs> Nah, 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 dude, nah, dude. We're not gonna do that. I'm not that psychotic. So basically, we're gonna stand here and wish upon stars. Chatters, what is your wish if you could wish upon a star? Is it bad that I don't know the artist you guys are talking about? Is that bad and cringe? That's a secret? No, you can tell me. 
I'll tell you guys a secret if you tell me. Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I, have, I still have that secret command. <laughs> oh, Billie Eilish? Oh, I know who she is. I, I was just, I was reading the, I thought it was someone else. I haven't heard any of her newer stuff, unfortunately. I'm missing all the stars. How will I feel? Keep it real with you. Does anybody want to hear me sing a song? You can use your channel points. Ooh. I got some points. The next redemption is 200 stars? Okay, well, I guess we gotta get 170 more. I never used the singing redemption because you won't sing WAP. You know, I think it's important to establish clear boundaries with your friends, your family, and I guess my Twitch chat room. Meaning, if I don't want to sing a song, I'm not going to do it. I'm only going to sing WAP if I get a million subscribers. What's the button combo to wish? Um, you just hold A whenever you see a star. Pretty simple. Wait. Should I put my face cam in the top left, guys? Ah, oh, this is another star? Hi, Miley. Welcome in. Hope we're doing well today. Oh, we saw you earlier in chat. Welcome in, hon. Okay, I think that's, like, basically centered, right? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do this. Ah, another star? Because I want you guys to be able to see... The little koi wind things I have. Cause see how the thing is rotating it at the top? Boo. Has anybody listened to the new Panic at the Disco album? I haven't. Heck no. I kind of feel that. I don't plan on it either. Yeah, I heard one single and I was all right. I think my favorite. I don't have like a favorite Panic album. I usually just like one or two singles and that's it. Okay. Well, I'm honestly surprised that we had stars spawn right when we opened the game. That's actually pretty good. Because I was expecting we'd have to fish for like an hour or something. The first album is the only one you listen to. That's kind of how I was at first, but... I think Vices and Virtues, like, I, list mo I like most of the singles on that album. And also, all the songs are like PG, so I was able to play that album at work. Yeah, like the bonus singles. Like, <clears throat> All the Boys, that's a pretty good single. And then, there was like some deluxe songs, right? You know, I never understood the big hype with Little Nas X, because I heard, like, the uh, riding on my horse, you know that one? I don't know how the rest of it goes, because, like, when I was in high school, like, I hated all mainstream shit. I just hated it. But I listened to, I guess, his debut. I don't, like, I'm not a big fan of, like, any songs or, like, any person, any celeb. But... I listened to it like a week ago. It, it's pretty good. I'm a sucker for trumpets. Like this song is the trumpet. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have a bite of soup. Oh, it's out today? I'll have to listen to it later then. There's a gnat on my bowl. Uh-oh. Are no more stars gonna spawn? Did I jinx it? Uh-oh. With Armony fell off, I mean, I didn't say it, you did. 
Okay, there's no more stars. This is concerning. I missed it. That's another one. It's a twofer. Okay, eating while do the doing this is not the best idea, I've realized. Yeah, I don't know anything about celebrity culture or, like, music artists. So you guys talk about this shit? I don't know what y'all are talking about. I took too big a bite, sorry. Oopsie. not very pop cultured either i think the reason why i'm not too big into celebrity culture is because i've always been hyper focused on my own like immediate social social interactions i have with family or friends or like classmates so i couldn't even bother to worry about like what the kardashians are doing or like what's the next top pop artist i just wasn't bothered Pop culture is a lot of my personality. Well, I think that's a problem. Like, all the, I think all the people who have, like, the fan accounts where they make fan cams, I think they need help. <laughs> like, when you're that obsessed with something, then I think it's fine for you to have your own, like, special interests and such. But if that's your whole personality, then I think you need to make a name for yourself, you know? Oh my god, we're getting a gift? A long underwear set. Ew. Kind of gross. I love keeping up with it all. Dude, it's too much. It's too m All I gossip about at work. Uh, it's like too stressful. But we got Celeste. Would you care to watch nature's most beautiful performance with me? Booty Toot, I almost forgot. I came across a recipe for from an a, for an astronomical project in a book and jotted it down. I would like you to have it. Do let me know if you try building it, would you? Well, have a splendid rest of your night. I know I shall. Okay, Chatters, I know how to fix this crop now. Oh, shit. I have to group everything. And then I decrease. Oh, my camera must be so small to have a good crop. That's kind of sad. Because, like, the way that vertical I crop vertical videos is I make sure to have the whole text box. Look how small I am. I don't want to be this small. Big sad. Yes. Hmm. Cause I want I want to be able to like repost clips from this vod. Yeah, I don't keep up with TikTok trends either. Summer sus. <laughs> I'm disappointed. I'm gonna get a portable crop.
I, let's just see. Oh, the base camp's so small. I hate this. Sorry, I'm like, I'm hyper focusing on it because it's all I'm gonna think about now. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's just gonna be a fucked up crop. You know, future Megan, whenever I get to this VOD in, what, three months, we'll have to deal with it? Wait, not even- wait, I'm editing VODs from April. That's- dude, that's five months ago. So Megan, in 2023, we'll have to edit this VOD. Jesus Christ. Any new stars, mod check? Wait, are we talking about celebrities and fandom culture because they're superstars? And we're looking for shooting stars in game? Imagine. I don't think I have the strength to delete social media because I feel like it's my main source of happiness. That's kind of how I feel about it too. Because so much of like my friends are online. I feel like if you don't have social media or you feel, if you aren't logged in all the time, it feels like you're missing out on news or like world happenings. Because I know the main social media that I like to use is Twitter because I just like to know what's going on. And like the political scene, just like online culture, I think it's interesting. Like, I think the only social media that I've uninstalled was Tumblr. And then I uninstalled Facebook on my phone for a few months, but I still had it on desktop. Because, like, I know for me now it's required or it's necessary for me to use social media because it's for, like, streaming and offline posting. But if I didn't have to have it, then I think I'd delete it. Oh, that's a good wit. That's a good strat, Mac. Have nobody you know IRL follow. Chatters. Whenever they ask you, do you want to link your contacts? You should add your friends. Don't ever do it. Because your workplace can find your account through your phone number. Your family can find it through your phone number. So do not ever link your contacts to whatever social media account you have. It's not worth. Because, like, I know even if I don't connect it, sometimes I get suggested, like, phone number contacts I have. But hopefully it doesn't suggest me. Oh my god. Bruce drop him off is live. I never stream at this time of day. But I don't think any of my friends stream this late typically anyway either. Because as you guys can see, it's almost 8 p.m. for me. See, I totally get the Mac. I'm very picky with who I follow. Another concern that I do have is that the Instagram I promote to you guys, hey, y'all should go follow my Instagram if you don't already. A lot of the people I follow are, like, people from school. Like, I was gonna wipe my account and make it just for stream, but it's like, I don't want to make a new account because when I was making my art account, it's peace and underscore art underscore. Like, when I was making that account, I kept getting banned because I kept on thinking, like, I was a bot account. <laughs> I got some sus retweets. Yeah, Mac account. Yeah. Chatters. People always check out your account. Like, whenever I get a new follower or someone interacts with a post and I haven't seen their user, I usually check out their profile. Some of you guys are a little bit sus. <laughs> Drop your at in chat. Bet you won't, Mac. I 
I love how Crystal and Jakey are just talking to each other. Because, like, I cannot be a part of that conversation. <laughs> yeah, look at Matt Plugging. You guys should follow me on Twitter. You know what's funny? Hacker made me post a Twitter draft today. And the options were... Because we asked the chat room what type of draft I should post. And I put, should I do a way too base tweet? Or... Should I do something that farms engagement? And so, Chad voted for choose a tweet that farms engagement. And I think it got three likes and then one quote retweet. So I think I fell off. When I, I think it's when you intentionally try and farm, people don't like it. Which is obviously why. But I think it's funny. What I'm basically saying... Is that everybody should go engage with that post to make me feel better. Because, you know, I did fall off. <laughs> yeah, snicker at me. You're so mean. Okay, there doesn't appear to be any stars. So I think we're going to do a little bit of fishing for now. You were confused, that's what the do is for? Yeah. <laughs> if there's any, like, weird tweet, it's usually from the draft post. Because how much does it cost for me to post a Twitter draft? It's like 15k, right? Oh, shit, I scared it. Oh, remind me that I have to donate three fish to CJ today. Wait, what? What's going on, Mac? You admit- <laughs> You admitted looking at your sub's Twitter accounts? No. I said, whenever I get, like, a new follower or someone, like, replies to a tweet, sometimes I'll check out the profile. I just want VIP. Well, you know what to do. You can either participate on Sunday's tournament... Or, starting in October, whoever makes the best clips consistently throughout the month of October will get VIP. One million here I come. Isn't it a billion? Or some stupid shit? Yeah, it's literally a billion points. Sus, Megan? I'm not sus. You have 74k points, Mac? Didn't you have like 50k last month? That's crazy. It's a billion? Yeah, learn how to... Learn your number digits, Kobobo. <laughs> VIP is either a billion channel points or a million gifted subs. Pick one. <laughs> I only have 10, 12k. I mean, 12k is pretty solid for a month of watching. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was getting fish. Getting sidetracked. Oh no, I only have two sunfish. Fuck. Uh, I guess I didn't catch it enough. Damn. Because I know that's a summer fish. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I appreciate everybody who's watching and hanging out right now. I know I'm not necessarily as chatty, but... 
I appreciate you guys. Now listening to sad music brings out your best writing, really? That sounds so emo, but also so cool at the same time. If I hadn't gambled wrong, I'd have like 15k. You know, that's the way of the game. You only gamble what you can afford. Oh, it's from the Mario Party stream? That stream was crazy. I highlighted one section of it, of the, the end of the first game. I still can't believe I was able to defeat chat three times. Actually crazy. I guess that's just my game to play. You love the Mario Party stream? Yeah, because you, you were the only one who won. You were the only one who was able to defeat me. Who can stay on forever? Scream up from the top of your lungs. La, la, say yeah. Okay, that sounded fun. I haven't sung in a while. Because the only time I sing is when chat makes me sing. Because I'm not... Fuck, I just realized literally everyone is home right now. Guys, I can't talk shit. Because <laughs> my sister is trying to sleep right now. I promised her I'd try and be quiet. Here we started at the end. Ooh, what song is this? Mid. Oh, baby, look what you started. I'm skipping it. The aggressive chewing eats? Am I chewing loud? Is that what you mean? Uh oh. Okay, I'm switching to my other YouTube account. Because a lot of the recommended here is like pop, but I want like more, al not alternative, but I want more like, not R&B, it's not rap either, what would you call it? Any stars marching? Nope. Okay, I think the best spot to see if there's stars while you're fishing is right at the edge of the beach. stars look look at her she's so excited dude she debated us that's so mean <laughs> so the best pov oh oh no 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 oh shit no i had the bait i had it in hand Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfecto. Okay, we got one. And the two. Three. You know, I got the fastest fingers in the West. <laughs> Am I old? What are they talking about? I don't know either. And I'm 23. I heard the new Mario Strikers is bad. I agree. Like, I was watching a few people play it. Like, I watched a lot of Scootish play it on stream. And it's just like, it's too much. <laughs> it's too complex. That's why, like, I would make it a one-off stream. It's okay. Uh, well, my sister bought it already. She only played it, like, twice. She hasn't touched it for, like, a month. I'm only 20, what's wrong? I feel like with the rise of internet culture, people tend to age and mature a lot quicker than they did before. Because since we have so much access to media, information, life happenings, current events, world disasters, it makes it seem like so much is happening all the time. 
where it makes it seem like time is passing a lot faster than it actually is. It's like, I know I'm 23, but I feel like I'm older. But it also could be because, like, women typically, like, physically mature, like, mentally mature faster than men typically do. Like, I'll be talking to some of my guy friends, and they're, like, actually D.O.M. <laughs> I always buy games and only like, play them once, yeah. That's why I like story-driven stuff, because then I feel like I can get, like, the hours out of- the hours worth out of the game, you know? You wanna know if the new Kirby game is good? I feel like I've only heard, like, bad reviews about the new Kirby. <laughs> the, the, um, Kirby's Dream Buffet game, not Forgotten, Forgotten Land. Forgotten Land's pretty good. I'm gonna have to go back and replay it. Or not replay it, but, like, get all the collectibles and such. But I've heard a lot of negative things about Dream Buffet. I think it's because it's not, it's like a, basically, I assume, like, mini games. Because I haven't seen people play it, but I've, like, heard murmurings. I don't know how to talk to people my age because all the stuff they like, I'm like, huh? I kind of get that. But, like, I spend so much time online that it's very easy to get stuck in my own niche to where if it's not in my, like, interest bubble, then I'm not going to consume it. I'm not going to learn about it. That's why I think out of everything, I genuinely enjoy hearing about world happenings, events, news, and politics. Because I feel like it's very easy to get distracted by, like, slub culture, fandom culture. Because I used to be really into fandom culture when I was in, like, middle school and then early high school. But then I kind of realized that fake characters aren't real people. Like, I should be caring about real word world issues. And not spend, like, two hours scrolling fan art on Tumblr every night, you know? Hi, Kingly. Welcome in. You're here for a sub-only stream. First time chat. Chatters, can we get some peace? I two yos and chat for Kingly. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. You thought the new Kirby looked good? When I first saw the new Kirby game, I immediately thought Monkey Ball. And when reviewers came out saying, this is just like... Mario Kart? I was like, huh? Because I don't know if the new Kirby game is, um, tail controls or, or like, motion, or like, joystick controls. But I just pictured, like, monkey ball. Oh, why did nobody else make that analogy? Game Buffet is actually pretty fun. Okay, we got one person for it. It's joystick. But if it were tail control, like, imagine how fun that game would be to play on, like, the Wii Fit board. It'd be so fun. Like, Mario Kart, like, literally everyone was comparing it to fucking Mario Kart. I was like, huh? I was like, what? Maybe, like, Nickelodeon Racers, but not Mario Kart. Like, huh? Just Kingly and he him got a boss. Feel free to chat, Lark. Whatever makes you happy, man. But real talk, Splatoon three. Um, I haven't done the tutorial because I want to save that for the sub goal stream chatters. Wait, I didn't set up a sub goal. Wait, so oh, there's so many fucking stars. Okay. Uh, I didn't set up a goal. Chatters, we were able to hit seventy nine subs today. Thank you, Oilers. Um, but if we hit 80 subs, then I'll play Splatoon on stream for a one-off stream. People pog. Wow. Yay, if we hit 80, we'll do Splatoon 3. Anyway. Um, I'm terrible at Splatoon, I hope. Don't talk bad about yourself. Uh, I played, like, one game because I begged my sister. I was like, please let me try at least once. And she's like, fine. 
But we had like the motion controls for the camera and it was so disorienting. So I had her change it to like the joystick camera. And I think it's so difficult. It's cause like I'm not good at aiming. How can I check when I, my sub renews? Um, if you go to settings, subscriptions, I know for sure that's where it would be on desktop. I don't know if that setting is available on mobile. Because if you're on desktop, you click on your profile picture in the top left, click on subscriptions, and then go from there. I don't know if you can access that through mobile, though. Twitch mobile? I hate it. <clears throat> it's not good. Now I can't keep you for loving him. You made up your mind. Say I love you, girl, but I'm out of time. That was actually pretty good. Sorry. <laughs> on mobile iPhone? Okay. I'm not sure if I could see it on... Because I have an Android. If you're new as on the first iconic, I mean... That's the best time, baby. Because that's when we do the art stream. I love mobile because I text fast. True. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Say. Okay, I'm trying to see if I can access that sitting. Oh, you can access it on... On what you call it. On Twitch Android. Oopsie, I was D-U-M. A lapse of judgment. Don't mind me. I bought the Ariana skin and closed the game after. <laughs> nice. I mean, did you guys see the Hatsune Miku skin in Fall Guys? You know, the only time I watch Twitch on mobile is if I know I'm not going to chat. So typically if I'm watching like a larger streamer, then I watch on mobile as I'm like doing chores and such. But if I'm going to be like actively chatting, I have to watch on desktop because like I can't. I'm so used to typing with the keyboard and also just the emote better. The emote menu is so much better on desktop. Chatters, if you're watching on desktop... And you haven't already download these third-party extensions um you can get third-party emotes and also a more customizable twitch layout and emo menu will i play the new zelda game when it comes up probably desktop hurts your brain what what huh i literally have never heard somebody say or imply rather that desktop is worse than mobile. Huh? What is this? I mean, I guess it's kind of like how... I watch YouTube more on mobile because I like the UI on mobile more than desktop. I think it's kind of like... Because like, when you open YouTube on your desktop, like there's so many to choose... There's so many videos to choose from. So maybe that's it. Okay, today's stream is just going to be like a lot of chatting and waiting for stars, so... <laughs> Never growing up with a computer conditioned me to this fate. Sag. When did I get my first computer? Oh, another star? You always skipped on computer? Yes. It, I hate how there's the mobile service fees. So, chatters, if you're going to subscribe to the any channel, if you're going to cheer bits, do direct cheering, normal subscriptions or gifting, always do it on desktop. Because it's going to be about a dollar cheaper than mobile. Because you know how like the Google Play Store and the Apple Store has a service fee. So. <clears throat> I think I got my first laptop when I was in junior high. Because I think my dad gave me one of his older ones. And then I saved up to buy one in high school. Because I think I had a job in my year between junior and senior year. So I was able to get like a few hundred bucks. 
So I was able to buy like, you know, the, the foldable laptops with the touch screen. It goes from a tablet to a laptop. I had one of those. So I would draw like digital art during class. <laughs> I think my sister, no, my sister just bought a new laptop for herself. So that laptop that I bought is now, I gave it to my dad. Those are so trashy. Yeah, the touchscreen busted after a while. I had to get the Microsoft Bluetooth pen and it didn't even like line up properly. Kind of not worth, but you know, it was like the best that was available at the time. Like if I'm going to draw on the computer, I definitely will use like a, not sponsored, like, but like a Wacom tablet now. Like it takes a while to get used to like drawing and not looking at your hand doing the work. Like, I definitely prefer drawing traditionally over digitally. But if I have to do something, if I have to do something digital, I will. Not them scamming mobile viewers. I mean, it do be like that. It's just the service fees. Okay, I'm skipping the songs. Too sad. Ah, uh, I love this song. It's so sweet. You played Wizard 101? I think the only... I never played Wizard 101, but I definitely played, like, a lot of the Disney games, like Pub Penguin. I played Pixie Hollow, which was the Tinkerbell game. I loved it so much. I remember I was devastated when it went from the free version to the premium version. Like, my character, like, she was so cute. She had, like, blonde hair. She had, like, one of those Karen, like, short haircuts, but she also had, like, a bun in the back. She had this really pretty green dress, but then they changed it to where you had to pay every month to have access to, like, those custom skins and costumes. So I had to go back to wearing the basic-ass dandelion dress. I was so mad. But now, I think all the servers for those Disney, like, not Flash games, but, like, those, I guess, MMO-type games are gone now, right? People are bad because they can't play with Chris stuff. No. <laughs> okay, I'm like struggling to read chat and it's because I have the font size way too fucking small. That's better. Because like the default is like a... Like probably like a 16 point font, but you can increase the font to like a 20 point. Why do people find Kristoff attractive? I don't know, people like white men. I thought he was fine in the movie. He seemed, like, too dopey. Isn't Gristoff, like, the cliche, like, golden retriever boyfriend? Isn't he, like, the prime example of that? Am I wrong? <laughs> he simply is for me revenants. Tiana and Naveen, oh my god. You know the cliche where, like, every bisexual person has a crush on Mulan and Shang? Dude, that was me. And then also Tiana and Naveen, oh my god. And also Rapunzel. And Flynn Rider. Oh my god. When Rapunzel got her haircut, holy shit. Because I think I saw Princess... No. Princess and the Frog. Is that what the movie is actually called? And then I saw Rapunzel in theaters. Type 1 of Disney made you gay. I better see some ones. I'll start.
Man, that's actually a lot of fucking ones. Damn. Almost done. Is the follower and types one? <laughs> I mean, that's the whole meta when streamers ask everybody to type one. They just want everybody to copy. I can't really think of any Disney characters that I was like, you. Only one comes to mind. Are you gonna self-report, Mac? What was your sus Disney crush? Jade from Victorious? I never watched Victorious. Have you seen a goofy movie? Oh no, Mac. Oh no, are you gonna say it? Are you gonna say it? <laughs> you automatically know what your answer is gonna be, Mac. Do I know Roxanne? Obviously. Obviously. I think the Jonas Brothers made me gay. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> oh my god. Chatters, chatters. Guys, I know it's a nighttime stream, but calm your horses. Man, I'm getting so many stars tonight, I'm actually really happy. Not the Jonas Flops. Hey, hey. You know, Jonas Brothers was popping off when I was in my prime. Because I think when I was in junior high, it was One Direction and the Jonas Brothers were like kind of just phasing out. You know who else is a flop? Non-subs, because chatters, even though this is a sub-only stream, I still gotta run ads. So, you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. If we have any non-subs watching this, your token's gonna expire, meaning you're gonna have to subscribe at some point if you want to keep watching. So, it is also September, meaning all new tier 1s Monthly, multi-month recurring subs and tier upgrades are 20% off for only less than a week. Chatters less than a week. So every, or wait, exactly a week. Ignore me. <laughs> anyway, an ad is coming. So, we get some more, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Could you sing airplanes? I think I know the song you're talking about. I think I know what it is. <clears throat> it's like, can we pretend that airplanes are in the night sky like shooting stars? That one, right? But I only know the chorus. The chorus is like two lines. It'd be a scam. I typically don't take song requests because I will only sing songs that I know. Yeah, well, the chorus is only two lines. I'm not gonna sing a two-line song. I can do that for free. Let me look up the lyrics. Of course, I'll do it for my top gifter. You hear that, Chatters? You gift a lot of subs to the channel. I'll do anything. I'm kidding. You know, I gotta follow TOS. Yeah, the... The chorus is literally just two lines. And the rest is like rap. Oh, wait, it's like. 
Yeah, it's literally do lines. Okay, I'll be nice. Chatters, if you want to get a little taste, I'm going to mute the game music. If you want a little taste, if you use your channel points, I will sing a full song. But let's sing just the chorus, I guess, to Airplanes by B.O.B. This is one of my favorite songs that it first came out. Okay, I'm going to clip this fuck. I don't care, clip all you want. Okay. <clears throat> I need to stop the music that I'm actually playing in my ears. Okay. Eric right, Chatters, if you could politely spam your favorite emotes in the chat room, I appreciate it. <clears throat> Can we pretend that airplanes are in the night sky like shooting stars? I could really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now. Can we pretend that airplanes are in the night sky like shooting stars? I could really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now. Yay! There we go. Okay, no more song requests. That was only for Kobobo because they've literally gifted $100 worth of subs to the channel this month. So, you know, they get privileges. It's basically pay to win. <laughs> but thank you guys for spamming. It, it, Kingly, I know you're new to chat. What's your favorite sub emote? I want to know. We're doing a brief user survey. What's your favorite emote? So good, thank you. Of course. It's not letting you clip? Get fucked. <laughs> Wait. Interesting. Can people wait? Let me check my settings real quick. I wish right now. Can we pretend that airplanes are in the night sky like shooting stars? Let's see. Oh. Add reviewing. Huh. Well, you like Peace I Two Punch? Cool. I think P. I think Peace I Two Punch is like the best sub emote. I think it's debatably the best emote on Twitch. I said it, controversial, but it's true. Anyway, chatters, if you want me to sing a song, use your channel points. For 750 points, I'll sing a full song. Or just a chorus. Okay, back to game. You probably missed out on so many stars. <laughs> you have so many emotes in your arsenal? I'm trying to think. I think I'm subscribed to five channels. So I got a good handful. I think my favorite emote that I have... Oh, QTC Cookie is pretty good. Oh, has high. This is a Hassan emote. But, you know, I use it literally every day in chat. When I say hi to everybody. And then, Connor 6 inches is pretty solid. It's another one. I'm trying to... Oh my god. I don't... I'm not a paying my subscriber. But I get gifted occasionally because I'm in her streams fairly often. This one is so cute. All of her people emotes are so good. It's Maya chatting, popcorn, and then 4K. They're so cute. You fall asleep a stream. You fall asleep and streams a lot, so you get a lot of gifted. That's pretty good. I mean, I know that there's like an algorithm to determine who gets gifted a sub. <laughs> Typically, users who are consistently watching streams, I if they're recent followers. Um, if they're active chatters, they're more likely to get gifted a sub. So any non-sub plebs, I mean, you want to be able to chat now anyway. <laughs> but if you want to be likely to receive a gifted, just be in the chat more often. I know the resident oilers, I'm um, in my chat room, I tell them to gift them to specific chatters who type. Because when somebody receives a gifted sub, they're more likely to go into the stream Say, oh my god, I got a gift, and then actually stay in the stream. Kind of like how Kingly did today. <laughs> Which is fine. It's fine. You know, if it works, it works. Oh, you're a new follow too, Kingly too. Only four days ago. Wow. 
That's probably also why you got gifted too. Recent follow. I saw out your TikTok to find your stream. Hey yo, guys, another TikTok frog. Yeah, Mac will always gift to active chatters, cause I think they, along with myself, understand that people can't necessarily afford to subscribe every month. That's why I will sometimes have gifting subs as a donation stake for me. And then also, I have the channel point redemption, because 15k is... You can get 15k channel points in a month, so if you really wanted to, <clears throat> you can grind up points to gift yourself a sub. I don't know how to pick who to sub to. Um, if you're in chat and you if you click on their username, a little pop-up will... Sh like pop up and say like gift a sub to this person so that's how you can gift directly oh you love my commentary that's i'm glad to hear that king lee because genuinely the way that my tiktok clips work is um i try to have them be as similar to a stream as they can be meaning i usually don't clip like super fantastic moments like epic gamer moves or funny haha -ha moments it's usually just me talking so that's kind of how my stream is you know i talk to chat we tell stories i tell stories and then i play game that's what a normal gaming stream is um yeah you finally finished your notes yeah it's it's nearly mac it's nearly midnight honey you should get some rest <laughs> it's the way i haven't started my notes well jake you need to Start doing your notes then. And Mac, you need to go to bed. But keep the stream open, obviously, so you can get channel points. <laughs> Gamers. Yeah. My chat. Oh, no, it's full. Oh, I love this song so much. I heard it for the first time like two weeks ago because it came up and recommended. Dude, I freaking love it. This, I've never heard this person before. I think this is like their most popular single, but it's like. So good. Oh, why'd I bury it in the hole? It's not what I wanted. Oh, I just do my homework in the morning. I live my life with that motto. And I regret we do doing that. It's so stressful. Yeah, I want to listen to this song again. I just never did my homework, Giga Chad. <laughs> oh, and like the teachers who would scold you for doing your homework like during lunch. Or like during passing period, like scrambling to finish it. Before like it was ready for turn in, it's like... The thing that I hate about homework is that sometimes kids don't have time to do it outside of school. Like, I think it'd be good if they had, like, an hour of homework time. Because I know we kind of had something like that. Every Friday, we would have still six classes, but they would be, like, 40 minutes long instead of an hour. And we'd have an hour of... I don't remember what it was called exactly, but it was, like, graduation prep. So you'd, like, build your portfolio... You'd have time to study and do homework. But it'd be cool if we had something like that every day. Like it like stay at school an extra hour and just have like homework time. Because that way you can ask your teacher questions there. We had city hall every day. I wish we had that. You know, Washington theoretically or statistically has some of the best education in the whole country, but it's still kinda Eh, in some areas. I think my district is pretty aight. Okay, I think... I'm gonna get some bait. That way I can bait the chatters. And also, fish faster. So I feel like we've been doing a lot of standing around. Dude, this song is so good. Study was only 30 minutes? Uh... I mean, I guess 30 minutes is better than nothing. But still, that's not nearly enough time. Because, like... I... 
like you hear the excuse of like teachers being like, oh, it's only 30 minutes of homework, but when you got five classes, that's two and a half hours of work. That's a lot of work. Oh, I have a lot of bait. Look at that. P say to keep her viewer ups when they have to get up early tomorrow. You know, <clears throat> I I appreciate if you guys could stay and hang out, but if you can't, you can't. You know what's interesting? It's interesting how I still have the same regular chatters in my chat right now. Which is fine. Because I think that just means no matter what time I stream, people will watch. Because they say the best time to stream is the evening. Like between like 3 p.m. PST to like 9 p.m. PST. Like those are the peak hours. But not, I don't get a different viewer base in that time frame. I think it's because people who watch my stream are used to the midday time slot. Thirty minutes calculated, but not putting the fact that maybe someone doesn't understand it. Yep. Exactly. It's like you ever be doing like a math worksheet and you're almost done, and then the last goddamn question stumps you for like an hour. And then if you don't complete it, you get marked like five points on that assignment. Or it just counts as a zero and you just go into school knowing that you're going to fail that homework. And then you spiral because you think you're going to fail the class. Just me? Okay. <laughs> Schedule will be cleared for your streams. Thank you. Thank you. If you stream the evenings, I'd be hyped. Damn. Well, because, like, if I stream in the evening, that's when when everybody else is live. And also, that's when everybody in the house is home. Because usually we got, like, me and then one other guy in the house. And it's cringe to... Fuck! It's cringe to stream when everybody's home. Or, it's not... It's just cringe for me, okay? Okay. Oh, the time zone difference throws you off? Yeah, because you're- I'm- I'm PS2. You know, we're living in the past, and it's actually pretty cool. Oh my god, this song is literally so pretty. I've been getting a lot of, like, Korean- Like, I guess, soft pop recommended to me. This song is literally so beautiful. Why don't you move out streams anytime? I- I, oh, I see stars. I see stars. I'm glad you're on PST. Yeah. Are you PST too, Jakey? I just missed the star. I stream hop a lot. See, I used to do that, but then I only watch Twitch when my favorite streamers are live. I don't watch a lot of new creators typically. EST would be nice. Yeah, I'll just move to fucking New York, baby. <laughs> Dude, imagine. I would need a lot of gifted subs to fund a New York <laughs> relocation <laughs> and deforestation. <laughs> New York is where it's at, but earlier in stream, you were like, that's where all the crime is. No, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Could chill along. My, my dad grew up in New York. But look where he is now. In Washington, baby. Should I learn Korean? I watch- I listen to so much Korean music. I don't listen to K-pop. I listen to, like, this beautiful shit. Kind of Brazil. Yeah, I don't think I could live in, like, a busy city area. I like suburbs. I think it's a good in-between. Is 
So no Blackpink? Yeah, I, I don't listen to K-pop. I think it's because, like, it's... Like, they do sound nice. Like, the singles I do sometimes listen to, like, they are... Like, really good, but it feels so, like... Manufactured, almost. I think the reason why I like songs like this is because they sound like K-drama, like openings or like closing songs. <laughs> Let me see if I can find like my favorite. Oh, I can look at the actual cube. Oh, it's not coming up. Damn. I guess my recommended has changed. She said, do you love me? I tell her only partly. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting so many stars. Is there, like, a cap to how many stars I can get? Like, is it pointless if I do this for three hours? I only listen to Blackpink? Well, I won't listen to you anymore. <laughs> Wait, chatters, chatters. I have a good idea. I have a good idea. I have such a good idea for a stream. You guys are gonna hear it because you guys are cool and subs, okay? Peace I too loves Drake. No, I don't. Drake loves steak. Dude, remember when Drake did a steak sponsor stream on Switch? It was insane. I remember I was watching his song react to it live. It was crazy. Anyway, guys, type Drake in chat. Uh, his new album's dog shit. I tried listening to it. I couldn't get past, like, the fourth song. It, it's... Ugh. I only know his pop... I haven't, like, sat down and listened to any of his albums. I only know, like, the more popular singles. And it's like fine. Not gonna lie, Hasana's kind of fine. You simp for Hasana anytime I bring him up. You know, I don't like to itemize my streamer. I'm a good, wholesome chatter. I can admire, but you know, I'm not gonna simp. I totally don't have 10 stan accounts. Yeah, you know me. Babes, that's rave music. Yeah, this one's dog shit. I was gonna say something else and then I forgot. Oh! A stream idea. Okay. We play a game that has small lobbies, i.e., like three to four people can join, like Mario Party. But the stake is whoever loses or gets last place gets timed out for an, an hour. Meaning, if you lose, you can't type in chat for an hour. I was watching back, um,. Mario Kart clips, and this was an idea we were talking about in chat back in July. So, two months ago. Wouldn't that be fun? Like, we could title it, Do You Lose, You Get Banned. Dude, that title would go crazy. Wouldn't that go crazy? Wouldn't that just encourage people to leave the stream if they lose? <laughs> just ban me? I should automatically make it ban me a bannable. <laughs> A bannable keyword. Love Mal. Um, we say to unsubbed. Sad, you're a primer. I know you're gonna keep giving me your prime. Um, I think for that type of stream, I don't. Because keep in mind, chatters, being timed out is not a ban. It just means you can't type, but you can still see the chat if you're timed out. I think. Maybe we can make it timed out for 10 minutes, but we'd still click beta as ban. Thoughts? I think it'd be fun. I'm not gonna give it to you next month out of spite. I mean, if you don't want to prime, you can subscribe with September and get 20% discount. Hey, yo. I mean, if you give your prime to Scootish, he'll dance. That's pretty cool. All I do is write your silly name in cursive. I'm not ain't gonna dance for no prime. <laughs> Who 
which means I won't be able to hype up Dino if they drop a fire joke. Well then, I think you would you would just both have to get banned in solidarity. You know, Romeo and Juliet, you gotta murk each other. Since when were my jokes fire? Damn. You know, self-deprecation is not allowed here. Okay, let's go back to fishing. <gasps> they weren't. I said if. Ooh. Dude, get wrecked. Do I have a wrecked emote? Dude, that was good. Get wrecked, Crystal. <laughs> oh my god. I catch one flimsy little fish and my rod breaks. I'm gonna call my Squishmallow. Good callback. Good callback. Good comedy. You know, the key to comedy, chatters, keep notes, is one, be funny, obviously. Two, callbacks are really good. Because callbacks help you see who's actually paying attention. And also, the people who do remember will be like, oh my god, that's so clever. And number three, if all else fails, just do your mom jokes. That's oldie but a goodie and it works. You know, I think D's nuts and then your mom jokes are the lowest from a comedy. Because it's always the same joke every time. It's the same thing as to why people like TikTok friends because they know what's coming. They know what the punchline is. It's so basic and D-U-M. It's like, you know, try and think of some original jokes here. Like back when the Kirby Forgotten Land came out, everybody was like, oh, mouthful mode, lol. That was like the only joke that was being made. Mom chat? Any moms in chat, guys? Ooh, big fish. Ooh. Look at that whale fish. Look, I caught your mom. Got him. That was so good. Somebody clipped that. Oh, wait. We can't clip sub only streams. Sag. Can people really not clip it? If so, that makes me big sad. Okay, chat, how long should I stream for? Because I'm feeling fine and we're an hour and a half in. Like, I think I can do another hour and a half. But I do have an early phone call tomorrow. Forever? <laughs> Dude, imagine. Should we do another subathon? Type 1? Four hours? That'd be to 11, though. I've already streamed for three hours earlier today. I mean, I do have to get my hours up for the month. Keep in mind, Shadows, when I say I need to get my stream hours up, I don't have a contract how many hours I have to do. Because only for affiliates, I think you have to stream 12. Which is, like, literally nothing. When is the sleep stream? That'll be, like, 10,000 subs. Because if I can farm subs when I'm sleeping, that's the dream, dude. Should we add 10,000 subs to the sub goal list? Oh my god, can we? No. I mean, we'll see how I feel, because, like, my arms are getting tired already. Hot tub stream win. You know, one of my initial stream ideas 
when I was thinking of like one-off things to do for stream is I wanted to get me and a friend in a kiddie pool outside and us and like you know the plastic ones like the hard plastic not the globe ones the hard ass plastic ones sit in the backyard and like spray each other with hoses but then I was like I think that's a bit much Megan takes baths shut up you know half the chatters who were in that stream now you're snitching Guys, I think make I think Mac is a fake chatter. I was gonna f say fake friend, but I shouldn't say chatters are friends because that's cringe. Making s'more stream. I mean, it would make a good clip if I burned my house down, not on purpose. <laughs> Taking baths is underrated. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Maybe not that. <laughs> Lamo. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. That was pretty good. We're stressed out. Oh my god, so many stars. Baths are so relaxing. Exactly. You know. Bath time is self-care time. I mean, how often do you take a shower, Mac, huh? You know, I've never been too big a fan of bubble baths or bath bombs because I don't like the feeling of suds on my body. Like, I think my least favorite part about taking a bath is, like, actually, like, scrubbing my body down. And also, like, how the pigment dyes the water just makes me think the water's dirtier, you know? She take baths in the morning? Sometimes. I always have to take a bath after, um, I take a bike ride. But I do notice if I do, like, wash up in the morning, I feel, like, refreshed for the day. Like... I think it was yesterday, because I had to get on a call at 8. So I did my bike ride at like 7 in the morning, and then I washed up. And I felt so good the rest of the day. Because as of recent, I've been biking in like afternoon or evening. Because it's way, it's way too cold to bike in the morning, guys. It's way too cold. But like, I can't stand being sweaty. So even if I like, let's say for example, do a bike ride in the morning wash up and then do yard work i have to take another bath i hate the feeling of sweat but back when i was working sometimes i would bathe in the morning before work and then bathe when i get home oh because like i refuse i refuse to like lay on my bed dirty meaning if i've gone outside i will never wear outside clothes on my bed I have to, like, take a bath. Because, like, your bed is, like, your sacred place, you know? It's where you sleep. You spend, like, seven to eight hours on it, so it better be clean, right? That's so time-consuming. Bruh, 20, 30 minutes out of your day is nothing. Do you not like showering? Yeah, I hate showering. One, our shower head has been broken for years. I mean, it still works now, but, like, our parents don't let us use it. And also, like, the feeling of, like, all the water hitting me is, like, too oversensitizing. It's overwhelming sometimes. So, I, I, I'm fine with an occasional shower. Like, there's been times where, like, we'd go on a family vacation, we'd stay at a hotel. Like, I'm fine with taking a shower then. But I don't think I could take a shower every day. That'd be too much. Hey, bad so much. Well, pfft. never mind. I was gonna say, well, I hate you, but that was mean. Re I retract that statement. Yeah, everybody in the house take baths because the shower head is broken. Baths are s tier on a cold night. Yes, like a nice hot bath. Ooh. Mod check stars? Stars? You 
guys are weird. Yeah, Mac is upset because there's so many bath defenders in chat. They're gonna go home and cry dead. Your whole family does it in speeches? I mean, what are you gonna do? The shower head's busted. It's actually cute because my parents will take baths together. It's adorable. Lamau, your mom. If you wonder if I do, I do. Shitty of you to make me feel just like this. No, it's cute. Why are you haunting? It's cute. I gotta take a break. More like you should go to bed. What? Is it not cute? Is it not cute? What? Do you guys not- Okay, I think it's because you guys are children. By children, I mean young adults. Like, any older person we tell, they're like, Oh my god, your parents are so in love. They've been married for 27 years. They're so in love still. It's cute. Guys, you guys are so mean. Fitting two people in a bath sounds tricky. It's doable. Not like I would know. <laughs> Your playlist is pretty good. Yeah, it's my YouTube recommended. Because it, as with like most of their algorithms, like it picks the songs you like, puts them at the top, and then adds new songs near the end. I'd evict myself. <laughs> what? Dude, it's not like you're watching them take a fucking bath. Dude, it's not that weird. You know... I'll just not do story times anymore, because I just chat can't handle it. It's nasty? Dude, you're so mean. I'm gonna tell that to my parents right now. You're, you guys are so mean. It's not... It's not about me, okay? It's not me. I would run away. I kicked myself out. <laughs> guys, it's not that weird. You know, okay, not like I would know, but I assume it's nice to have somebody, like, wash your back, you know? You guys are so immature. So immature. Or maybe you just, guys, you guys haven't found love yet. Maybe that's it. Sounds traumatizing? No, you... Oh yeah, it was it was actually bad because um my old bedroom, my sister's room now, it it has a door connected to the bathroom, like a not an open door. Sorry, that sounded really weird. Like it's just the bathroom is right next to it, so you can hear everything that goes on in the bathroom. I hated that. That's why I'm glad I traded with my sister. I scammed her. The fact that you know is cause for concern. There's a lot of things that should be cause of concern that I don't share, but you know. My parents and I share a wall. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Single like a Pringle? Me too. I'm on my incel arc, guys. What's making Megan talk like this? I don't know. This is sub only. You guys can't clip, apparently, so I can say whatever the frick I want. Did I really get 200 stars? No way. Whoa. That means we've gotten like 150 plus stars today. Crazy. Insane. Oh, the song? Lamau. It makes me sad. <laughs> Yeah, 
Again, Chatters, let's let's not entertain the thought of thinking about our parents. Okay, Let, let's change directions. Not in the mood for Edge today. Ooh, this is another pretty one. So, how's um everyone's neck going? A nasty subject. <laughs> You're the one who said it in the chat, Mac. You 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 don't gotta share everything. One direction. Wait. Baby, you light up my world. <clears throat> Wait, let me actually try. <clears throat> Wait. <clears throat> Wait, let me try again. <clears throat> it's like... Baby, you light up my world like nobody else. The way, that, the way that you flip your hair gets me all overwhelmed. I tried. I don't know the lyrics. I can't sleep. I'm gonna try. Yeah, Mac, you better get some sleep tonight. Can't have two nights in a row with no sleep. That'd be cringe. Can we bait a chatter into trying the direct cheers? Can we successfully bait a chatter? <laughs> I have work early too. I don't know what to do. I think the best thing to do, Mac, is to turn off the stream. And go to sleep. I think that's, that's your best course of action. As a professional, that is my recommendation. The one stream I want to clip, it doesn't work. <laughs> well, I tell you guys to not clip Saboli streams anyway. I mean, I don't care, because like, I'm still not going to leak anything I don't want to share in a sub only stream, because I, I explained this earlier in the mainstream. But you should never ever share anything online that you do not want to be public. Even if it's a private account, even if it's an alt account. Do not ever share something online that you don't want repeated. I'm about to start saying Sag IRL. I started saying so many Twitch terms IRL long ago. It's been a problem. But you know, I've just accepted it at this point. Because, you know, Twitch has become so much of my identity. And I feel like the culture... I don't know where I was going. The bathtub part feels like a violation, but we'll let it slide. You guys better. <laughs> I accidentally said Sag I wrote once and I almost started to cry. Okay, chatters, chatters. If you guys are saying, gonna say Sag in the chat, it's capital S A D G, you dumbasses. It's capital S. Because if you don't put the capital S, the emote won't come up. There's so many hairs in my sweater. Like, you know when I put shit in the wash and then, like, the hairs somehow get inside the fabric? You're on mobile? Damn. Type one if you're on mobile. I expect to see ones in like 20 seconds because delay on mobile is horrible. I don't see an emo on mobile. Love out. But you can still picture it in your head. I mean, who was it? I think Coax and then Batty. They know there's like apps you can download to see third party emotes. People mustn't know about my double life in Peace I2's chat. True. Should be a secret. Hey, skipping. You don't know what it looks like? Watch on mobile. Or desktop, fuck. <laughs> You know what's so funny? During my affiliate stream in January, I had a whole presentation, like a gag PowerPoint presentation explaining emotes. And it's... <laughs> I think there's actually a highlight, because if you look in my... If you're on desktop, go to videos, collections, 
And then there's a little collection called First Affiliate Stream. And I have like a little presentation about emotes because I'm trying to convince chat what emotes I want to make. Kind of cringe, I agree. So, I am cringe now and, and six months ago I was even cringier. Tuna. I'm sleeping. Chatters, you should all scream. Can everybody, can everybody? To wake Mac up, can everybody type ah? <laughs> everybody type ah. I ain't got no business catching villains, catching villains. These girls only want you when you're in it. Wait, The Weeknd actually has a song called Lullaby. Wait, Kobobo, Kobobo, if you are on desktop, download- I, I fucking told you guys to do this earlier. Download these extensions. Download all three of them. They're only for Chrome, though. WAP only, though, right? No. Never. Cause I got a lot. So many extensions. I would probably, cause like I have emotes for all three, but the best ones is gonna be BTV and then Seven TV. Okay, I'm gonna. Fuck. Let me actually find it on my desktop. <clears throat> Wake up. I don't want to wake up. I don't want to wake up. If you ain't laying next to me, I don't want to wake up. I don't want to wake up. I don't want to wake up. If you ain't late next to me. Okay, that was the song that was just playing. <laughs> Sorry, that's not the song I was looking for. Because okay. The Weeknd actually has a song called Final Lullaby. It's in their bonus tracks. I haven't listened to it in a while. Oh, okay, I think I know how it goes. We're gonna try and sing it. <clears throat> Okay, chatters, get ready to fall asleep. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, uh, I almost did too early. Okay, starting. Oh. Running out of time. And you'll always be on my mind. And I can make you stay in this broken place And I hope you find peace Close your eyes as I put us to sleep Finally To sleep Finally and I can't make you stay in this broken place And I hope you find peace Close your eyes as I put us I tried. I tried. I tried. I think someone needs to listen to Star Girl by the weekend. I'm a mother. St wait, it wait, it's Star Boy, right? Oh wait, Star Girl is like the da, 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 transition, transitional track, right? I actually want to listen to Star Boy. I think my favorite weekend by the favorite album by the weekend is Star Boy. Oh, 
Oh, the lyrics are wrong. I can't make you stay in this broken place. Yeah, I don't know listen to Starboy. There you go. I usually, whenever I listen to this album, I usually start. Which one? At six feet under, and then I loop it. Because I think six feet under. It was. I think my favorite single has to be "Die for You," obviously. And then "Reminder," and then six feet under. "True Colors" is also pretty good. Starkle is so euphoric. I, I usually skip it. I don't like transitional singles. If anybody follows my TikTok, I have a personal account that is peace in 17 no underscore. And if you go to the profile, there's no videos. But you can see that my account has likes. Because I used to post singing clips. And they were so bad. Like, looking back, it's so goddamn cringe, okay? And when I say I used to, it was like a year ago. Because I did it in between streams, so probably from like... Like, September 2021 till the end of that year. I remember you saying this before. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Am I gonna self-report again? Oh, stars. Hold. But, yeah. I think what I want to do for that main account is... I want to make, like, super artsy shit. Not actual art, because I have a separate account for art TikToks that I'll make. Like, stream clips from the art channel. Chatters, if you aren't already, if you're watching the stream, then you are probably a real one. And you like me or my content. So go follow my art stream. It's peace and underscore art. I'm going to be doing weekly paintings. That'll be launching in October. So politely go follow. I'd love it if you could. Anyway. <clears throat> but I think for that main TikTok account... I don't know what I want to do. I, I said before I want to do, like, artsy monologues. Because, like, I have monologues written out. Because I, I think spoken verse monologues or poetry is really interesting. <clears throat> Six feet and the she gonna get the fucking paper. I'm surprised no one has made a When You Wish Upon a Star reference yet. I feel like everybody's too young to have watched Pinocchio. I haven't even watched Pinocchio. Because I remember seeing, like, the previews for it. Because back when Disney would have things on VHS, you can't really fast forward because you would bust the VHS, so you'd have to watch the trailers every time. I would get so scared watching the Pinocchio trailers. Because, like, just the animation, the way that the whale was illustrated, really scary. Like, little eight-year-old Megan was like, oh my god, I don't want to watch that. Okay, I don't think there's any more stars. Mod check stars. I really hope we get a fuck ton of stars tomorrow. Wait, Chad, do you have to remind me that I gotta play tomorrow? Off stream. What am I doing tomorrow? I have two phone calls in the morning. And then I have to make deviled eggs for Saturday. You love VHS takes? I'm indifferent. Like, you know, it's retro, all that cool jazz, but... It is true, the more you use them, the more likely that they are to wear and tear. Like, I know I definitely busted a few VHS tapes when I was younger. Because, like, if you don't put the VHS cassette in the right way... Or if you, jo like, jostle the buttons by accident, you could totally screw up the tapes. 
like kids nowadays, they don't know how good they have it with all these streaming and digital downloaded movies. They'll never know the struggle of having a busted VHS or a scratch DVD. Oh, that was also the worst. None of your VHS tapes broke? Really? You lucky bastard. Sorry, that was... <laughs> Whoa! I take that back. I usually don't say bastard. <laughs> I'm sorry. Forgive me. Whoa. Whoa. You guys, I should end stream. The real Megan's coming up. I wanted to clip that. No! No! Because, <laughs> like, I know I trash talk a little bit, but I feel like... Wait, what does... What's the actual meaning for bastard? Isn't it like... Like you're not your father... Wait, yeah, it's like a... It's like a child of... Oh, fuck, what's it called when you cheat on your wife? <laughs> it's like when you're a child of... Adultery, that's it. So I... <laughs> Oopsie. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Your grandma uses maps? Dude, they're actually crazy. I mean, you kind of have to if you're going through an area with no service. Unless you got a GPS in your car. The stream's a roller coaster? I mean, this is Megan after 8 p.m., my guy. I think I have a tweet that makes a joke about that, actually. It's in my drafts. I mean, that's the reason why I'm a bit more lax. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You guys know the, the tweet I made today? Where it was, I only have base takes, like if you agree, quote retweet if you don't. <laughs> Rainy Day Games quote tweeted with a skull emoji, and then Emmy... <laughs> Quote tweeted with just three ellipses. <laughs> Dude, it's so good. So good. I hope they're trolling. <laughs> Dude, it's so fucking funny. <laughs> Megan after dark. Wait, I still have to pull up that draft. Oh, it's the wrong thing. Oh, I deleted the draft because it was too cringe. It was like, wait, wait, no, I have it. Um, do you guys want me to leak this draft? You guys promise. You have to promise to not leak it. This is a sub only stream. Type one if you promise. Or no, no, no. Even better. If you guys promise to not leak. Where is it? Everybody, peace out to shake. Oh, sorry, I hit the mic. He said too shaky for me to leak. I need to see at least three handshakes for me to leak. No, I got a farm. I need three handshakes. Okay, we got two. One more. I'm trying to farm. One more. You know what's funny? No, we need three individual people. You can't spam. That does not count. Uh, anyway, I was gonna say, what's funny is that... You know how I literally added PSA2 Shake today? You guys have already used it like 300 times in the chat. You guys are insane. In a good way. I like emote spam in chat. I think it's funny. <clears throat> oh, it looks like we're not getting into the handshake. No deal, I ain't leaking. Mm-mm. No leaks. No purrs. No leaks. Also, no jokes. Jokes aren't allowed. What's your most used emote? It's Peace I 2 Punch. I feel like that's a crowd favorite and everybody... Everybody spams it instead of Peace I 2 Yo whenever we get new chatters. Because you guys are mean. 
I'll be like, chatters, oh my god, look, we got a new chatter piece, I too, yo. And then you guys punch. Because you guys are bullies. You shake with your left and right hand? Huh? Aren't you supposed to, like, default to your right hand? Wait. Wait. I did it with my left, didn't I? Oh, you know why I do it with my left for on cam? because I'm holding my control on my right. That's why I did. You're supposed to shake with your right. Oopsie. The emote's wrong. Flip it. It's flipped. Oh, the people who shake your hand and then they kind of clasp onto your hand. I hate that. So we get three shakes to your reel. We need one more chatter. Ma check chatters. <laughs> Alarm lurkers. <laughs> oh, fuck. I almost said the wrong thing. Is it alarm? Lurkers alarm? <laughs> Wait, Kobobo, did you download the extensions? Please tell me you did. No, don't make another alt. That's cringe. Don't make another alt. That's cringe. You cut out our ambidextrous because you broke a red arm? I mean, I think that's a net positive. I, you made the best of the situation. Which props to you. <laughs> I did, but it did not work. What? Huh. Are you on Chrome? It could be like your cookie settings too. I mean, when you go to the extension websites, it tells you how to set it up. It works? <laughs> Dude. I had to refresh? Told you. It's almost ad time. We have to set up for a good transition. Okay, you can't give up the bait. You have to bait instead of telling the chatters to bait. <laughs> yeah, Kobobo, once you see the emotes, you can't go back. That's why I'm an avid desktop user now. Oh, this is another single I like. Attention. Oh. Yeah, I'm looking for attention. You know what else is also a bait? Non-subs getting an ad because chatters, we are... Two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. Even though this is a sub only stream, I'm still contractually obligated to run some ads. But, you know, another thing, I like money. <laughs> yes, I do like money. <laughs> okay, I'm actually getting tired. Um, use mine, I feel special. I won't use yours next time then. <laughs> okay, anyway, chatters. You can avoid that at- if you're a non-sub pleb watching, subscribe, it's just five bucks. September, it's like four bucks. Crazy. Imagine. Um. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and hashtag sub for free with Prime every month. Give it to me, obviously. See if you got a Prime available. People pog. Wow. After the ad break, we're gonna do some more just chatting. Get some more stars, obviously. So get some water, get a snack, we'll see some of you guys in a few. Oops, I gotta actually put the command. And if you are subscribed, you don't get to see the ads. Imagine. Oh, oh. Attention. It's another heartbreak. You know what I learned today? So if you're watching Twitch on mobile, and you know how there's like a pop-up player so you can watch the Twitch stream while you're opening other apps? If you have that pop-up player open like that, it does not count as a view. I didn't know that. 
Because I know whenever I watch Twitch, I usually watch it in that pop-up player. Because if you stream, you know, there's like a users and chat list. Chatters, you can also view that list if you look, if you're on desktop. It's in the top right corner of your chat box. It tells you who's in the chat. But as you guys can probably see or assume, there's more users in the, who has the tab open, but the viewer account is not aligned. Because it's either bot accounts, who just automatically look at streams, or it's people who have the pop-up player open. Which is fine. I, like I said, I learned that today. I was like, oh, that's interesting. So, it also supposedly Twitch doesn't count lurkers as viewers. Like the people who don't necessarily type, but just watch or have the stream open and listen to it. They don't count as a view all the time either. So, I think it sucks how it's configured that way because... Like, I feel like more people are watching than there is, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm starting to fall asleep, but this is more important. That's right, baby. I've always seen so many users and, like, only for typing. Yeah, and that's, that's how it do be like that. But then it's, like, also, most people listen to a stream than type. Like, not a very small percentage of people actually are active chatters. But, I don't know, it was just eye-opening to me. Because I usually don't have my user list open, so I think it's cringe to, like, look at it all the time. Because you, you kind of, like, psych yourself out. Because so if you have a list of everybody open, you can see when they leave. And that made me self-conscious for a while. But, I think it's interesting to see, like, the peaks of your stream. And also the lows. That's crazy at that majority to chat? No. Typically, like, 10% of your viewer count will chat. Meaning, if you got 10 viewers, one person is actively chatting. If you got 100, about 10 people are actively chatting. That's why when you go into, like, a partnered stream, even if they got, like, 20k people watching, the chat is moving so fast, but it's probably only, like, 1 to 2k people actually chatting. Even though there's still a significant amount of people chatting, that's still only, like, 10, 10 to 20% of their actual viewer count. That's why, like, it's it's important if you're just going to start streaming. Don't be discouraged if you don't have a super active chat room. Because, like I said, it's standard for only about 10% 10, 10 of your viewer count to chat. So that's why, like, I know, just to talk about numbers briefly, um, I usually average... I used to average, like, 10 viewers back in peak summer. But now it's school, so obviously people are in class, which is fine. I expected that. But... If I would average 10, I'd have like 5 to 7 people chatting, which is crazy. For a channel my size, that is very uncommon. But I think the reason why I farm chat so much is one. A lot of my people come over from TikTok, meaning they already kind of know who I am and they know the vibe of stream before they come into chat. Two. I will tell you guys to type in chat. Um, you know, like, oh, type one or I ask you guys questions. You know, a simple call to action. Three, I encourage emote spam. Meaning, I tell you guys to, oh, everybody, everybody, you know, peace I two punch or something, right? And then everybody types it in chat or uses their sub emote. Um, because I know not, I think a few people have said this in the past, but... They just don't know what to say in a chat room. And I totally get it. That's kind of how I am as well. But a good way to get people more used to and feeling comfortable chatting. If you tell them to type an emote, then the person typing is not, like, inserting their opinion. So, yeah. Did a Mario Party have, like, ten people chatting? Yeah, sub-only streams and mega sports streams usually have a lot of people chatting. Because those are like special and more event streams. And the reason why sub only streams will typically have more active chatters or people chatting consistently more so is because sub only streams are, in my opinion, somewhat for the people who genuinely like what I do and who want to spend more time with me or more time with the other chatters. Um, 
And you're exactly right. The reason why there's more active chatters in the playing viewer streams is because people are actually playing. And also more viewers. That's why it is not a good idea to, if you're just starting out streamer, do not play with viewers every stream. It gets boring. People will get bored. Because it won't be special. It won't be a novelty anymore. That's why we do Mario Kart tournaments once a month. Guys, it's on Sunday. Exclamation tourney in chat. And also, if we're going to do the the other Mega Sports event every month besides the tournament. Um, and I think, like I said, so much of the Mario Party one, it will be sub only, but we'll do like different games every month. Lamau, you spelled tourney wrong. <laughs> I think another thing that helped get my chat room active, and I express this to people when they first join, or um, whenever my chat room was getting more active, because there was a point, and I think July, where I was playing Mario Kart and I had like 15 people watching and 10 people chatting. Now, imagine me. I don't have any moderators. Nobody snitched, but I don't have any mods. I've, I've explained this before. I don't want any Twitch mods until I can pay them, like actually pay them. So I'm basically modding my chat room by myself or I'm fully relying on auto mod. And I remember, like I said, I was playing Mario Kart. I had like 15 viewers, 10 people were chatting. Like the whole time I was playing, mind you, 10 people were chatting. Meaning I would get a new chat message like every like 5, 10 seconds, which is really active for someone who has 15 viewers. That is crazy active chat. It was like that for like... 30 minutes straight. Um, and especially a game like Mario Kart to where like I can't look at my screen the whole time. Like I'm actually focusing on the game. It was very overwhelming but also eye-opening because it made me realize that I am able to get people to actively engage with the stream. Because I think we were playing Mario Kart and I was, I was talking about like something random. And like everybody was giving their own like opinion or their like like anecdote concerning what I was talking about and it was so active like my chat room was like popping off uh, so I think I am one of those cases to where if you get people used to wanting to engage with yourself or with other people in the chat then they will subconsciously chat more over time because they'll feel more comfortable it's kind of like getting a new friend like, you're not going to be fully chatty with them right away. Um, those last thing. Oh, yeah. Another thing to kind of force you guys to be active, just in general, not individuals. I mean, every single chatter is don't read every single message. Regulars will know this, and I've explained this to them, where I don't reread read every single message because... Um, if you read every single message, then your whole stream is reading the chat, which is boring as fuck, okay? But if you pinpoint and choose the messages that you can either bounce back on, do like a funny joke off of, or continue a conversation, then chatters will kind of learn over time what I kind of expect will be a good chat message to reply to. And then they'll kind of change their chat behavior over time. It's interesting. Like, you can see it in, um, like, long-term chatters, like, i.e. Hacker and Mac. Like, their chat dynamics have changed over time. Because they've been following and fairly active in the chat room and channel since April. So they've been watching for about four or five months. And when, when both of them started chatting, you could tell that they want that one-on-one -on -one attention. But over time, I didn't give them that attention every single time. Meaning, they kind of figured out, like, how to be good chatters in the sense of... Because if you're baiting for my attention all the time, trying to get my direct response to every single message you type, you're just being an annoying little shithead. You know, I'm not here to entertain one person. I'm here to entertain everyone. So chatters if you are new or if you're relatively new like i.e less than three months do not feel bad if i ignore your message i still read everything i literally read everything it's very rare that i miss something in chat but even if, if i don't read it like keep note of what makes me 
reply, I guess. Because I have to... A reason why I don't reply to everything as well is, like, if it if it's not entertaining, then... Or if it's not going to lead to a better conversation, then I'm not going to reply. Because I have to make sure stream is entertaining during the actual live, and also the VOD watchers. Because the VOD watchers, they don't get the same experience in the sense of they can't chat, so they probably don't really care. <laughs> about what chat is saying. She's just picking favorites, I guess. No, I'm literally not. I'm literally not. I mean, maybe if you chatted more, Jake, I would. you would be my favorite, but you're not. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking- I, I'm reading back what you guys have said, but I was going on that very long tangent. But, um... Remembers that TikTok? Yeah, I think I've posted a few TikTok clips expanding my time of mentality towards it. Because... I know me as a viewer, I kind of feel disheartened when my message doesn't get read. But then, it took me a while to understand, like I said earlier, the streamer has to entertain everyone, not just you. And by you, I mean, like, the individual viewer. Like, I typically will give more attention or banter more with regular chatters because I typically the more they watch the more they understand when I'm joking or not you know I don't even recognize what you replied to or don't since you replied to a lot Lamau. <laughs> Kabobo's just like I don't care <laughs> it's fun I try to reply to most everything unless it's like stupid or like unrelated to what we're talking about like, even though I say I'm picky, I still try to reply to most everything. Like, um, I know I do try and greet people as they come in. You know, like, oh, hello, how are you today? So and so. I try and say bye when people, like, say bye. Um. Because I know a lot of people, when they watch stream, they only listen to audio. So they can't necessarily reach out all the time, or they can't necessarily type all the time. So I have to make sure what I'm saying is good for the audio only listeners. I'm glad you're able to pick up on that crystal, like establishing my humor and also boundaries. Boundaries is very important when you're streaming. It is very easy for me to overshare, it's very easy for chatters to overshare, but essentially you just have to make sure. I think the biggest thing that people don't realize with like trauma and jumping things is just because you're fully comfortable with something you don't know if it's a trigger for somebody else this is the argument i will use towards people who want to justify saying certain um slurs like i.e like the f word or the r word like just because you grew up saying that word or just because it was fine at the time you need to understand that certain words have weight and also like people have trauma when it when they hear those words so you need to be respectful of that like it i think it's fine I think it's fine if you use them in private or if you use them with people who think it's fine to use said words. Like, that's totally fine. Um, but, you know, you can't be using those words in public. You shouldn't be saying those words publicly because, like I said, you you wouldn't be able to respect other people's boundaries if you did it in, in public. Is what I mean. You made you feel comfortable to type as soon as you caught a stream? Oh, that's really good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad that the, like, TikTok clips is working well because, like, it, it's great when people do follow the channel from TikTok, but if they don't chat or if they don't watch the stream, then a follower count is just a number. Like, my goal, excuse me, I'm waiting for more stars. We're just standing here talking. Um, but my goal is to have people enjoy the live streams, you know? Knowing the right place to say things is very important. Exactly. Because I think ultimately, everybody has their individual boundaries. And if you aren't in a place in which you can communicate them explicitly, they need to have like a baseline behavior. Like if I'm with somebody new, I don't curse. Because I've had several friends and coworkers be like, you know, I don't like cursing. And I'm like, okay, I can respect that. Or, you know, there's certain jokes that I don't say. Because I understand certain jokes or topics can be triggers, so I will respect that, typically. 
Anytime I make a new friend, I will ask them what's okay to say, what's okay to talk about. You know, because I know I'm a fairly open person, but I have learned that, you know, you can't overshare. Because you don't know what's going to bother them. I felt so out of touch when first joining since I didn't really understand Twitch. I mean, this is fine. We get a lot of people who aren't Twitch watchers watch this stream occasionally. Because we get a lot of TikTok frogs. Like my sister, she doesn't like when I curse, but I do it sometimes. Oopsie. Sorry if she's listening. Oh, this is my favorite song. Baby, I would die for you. Yeah. The distance and the time between us. I can't sing it though, it's hard. The range is crazy. Enemy chatters, how do you feel like stream is going? What would you rate out of 10? If you don't say 10 out of 10, I'm gonna be very sad. Unless you want to see me be sad. Keep it real with you. <laughs> I assume everyone's on mobile? Yep, everyone's on mobile. <laughs> I will love you. Keep it real with you. The conversations in your streams are S tier. A yo. Probably second favorite stream. Huh? You may or may not have loved. Damn, Jakey out here with the burns. I'm getting fucked and wrecked at the same time. No, I think the biggest appeal to streamers is being able to, like, get a more vulnerable side, more, like, real personality. Um... I mean, a stream like this, where we basically have to sit here waiting for stars is the perfect time to, like, talk and shit. But, I think the important thing for me to realize is that without the viewers, without the chat room, the stream is null. Like, it's such a cliche, but, like, if your chat is dead, then your channel's dead. That's why, like, I'm always thinking of ways to keep people chatting and typing and engaging. Because if a viewer comes in and they don't know the channel and they see, like, people actively chatting and, like, being good chatters, mind you. <laughs> I get I gotta yell at you guys sometimes. But if they see chat being good, they see me having a good time, they're gonna be more likely to stick around and stay, you know? So could we get three handshakes? No, <laughs> no, no, no. That, that deal's over. It's one and done. Your streams are such a safe place to unwind and laugh and have a good time. Thank you. I'm really glad to hear that, Crystal. I really am glad. No, I'm I'm up in the deal to four handshakes. I need four handshakes. Three is not enough. You know, I've upped my stakes. <laughs> Peace I to gasp. Bruh. <laughs> you know, I make the rules here. You guys can't tell me what to do. Guys, I think Mac fell asleep. I think Mac actually fell asleep. <laughs> I mean, that's good. They need to get some sleep. You can scared of love and what it did to you. You don't have to rush. Yeah, I think Mac actually fell asleep. A gasp emote would be everything? Honey. 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 We have PSA to gasp. We literally have a gasp emote. Lamau. Kobobo, a fake fan. Do you not you know you have follower emotes? Yeah, I think Mac fell asleep. Okay, chatters, you know the way you can tell who's in chat? You can add them in chat. <laughs> if you can add them, that means they're here. <laughs> I think Mac fell asleep. <laughs> Kazeela, you can at me, because I'm in chat, obviously. I'm the streamer. 
Where do I find the GASP? It's in your emote menu. Or you can type in Peace I2 capital G GASP. I told you the Twitch mobile emote menu is dog shit. It should be a follower emote. Am I blind? Probably. <laughs> well, you are wearing glasses. In the portrait card I did, you were wearing glasses. So, I guess. Yeah, everybody keep gasping until Kobobo can find it. <laughs> Just rub it in their face. I can't be seen anyway. <laughs> uh, Kobobo, if you've downloaded those third-party extensions, um, there should be a 7TV emote menu on desktop and then a Franker Phase Z emote menu. My eyes are actually starting to hurt. Then go to bed, hun. Go to bed. I don't want chatters to stay up just for me. I can wait and don't complain, bitch. My god. <laughs> you know, I complain a lot myself. Like, when I edit my clips, I complain about so much shit. My god, I'm like, dude, this bitch needs to stop complaining. But I think it's one of those things where people relate to negative things more so than positive things. I like how unhinged you are. Yeah, I'm crazy. On desktop, you have it? That's weird that it's not loading on mobile. I think it's- like, like I said, Twitch mobile is fucking dog shit sometimes. Like, half the time, like, the stream audio desyncs, like, the emote menus won't fully load. It's D-U-M. Twitch, we have beef? I think everybody's got beef with Twitch, my guy. There's so much shit going on that I'm not going to talk about, of course. Because, you know, I ain't a drama farmer. Especially when there's possibly real crime involved, so I ain't going to say shit. I'm a motherfucking star boy. <laughs> and look what you got. I'm a motherfucking star boy. Okay, chatters. I think I'll stream for like 10 more minutes because I'm getting tired. And I get a phone call at 8. In 12 hours. We live for the drama, don't we all? Dude, so my therapist, nobody snitch, nobody snitch. So my therapist was like, you know, we've been seeing each other for three weeks. She used to try art therapy, meaning I do an art project every week that is based on self-reflection. I didn't do it for this week. Oopsie. Fuck. I was going to do it today, but then I was editing all afternoon and then I made dinner. You don't have any of those emotes on mobile? You should. That's weird. Huh. Well, those are the follower emotes. That is weird. I hate Twitch Mobile. Yeah, any nod followers watching the stream, you should follow. <laughs> How would so wait? Cause subscriber only streams still come up in the discover tab. Surprisingly, I didn't know that till Sunday. You're on mobile. Damn. Sad. I keep telling y'all, watch Twitch on desktop. It's so much better. You'll never go back. We haven't copy pasta this stream yet. There you go. Have fun. Now, see, I read your mind crystal. You, you always want to do the don't copy pasta. 
I mean, it's honestly, I think, the best spam ever. I literally was editing a TikTok clip, talk, me talking about the do not subscribe copypasta. Sometimes I'll watch Twitch mobile on my iPad, and it's pretty decent. Because what's kind of cool is that Apple products, you can enable low latency mode on mobile, meaning you have less of a delay. Oh my god, Mac's not here for power hour? Damn. Mac mod check. Can we still add them? Yeah, Mac is still lurking, Lomo. At Mac mod check. <laughs> Let, let, let's troll Mac a little bit. You know, Mac is a good chatter. <laughs> Mod chick? Not Mac? <laughs> I don't know. Peace I too, lore. Um, Power Hour was we did a subathon on August 2nd because it was my one year Twitch anniversary. And every single hour, all subs, bits, and donations were with double the time. If you don't know what a subathon is, is essentially there's a timer on screen. Stream ends when the timer ends, but people can add time to the timer by donating to the channel. So we did that stream in August to celebrate um, my one-year anniversary and to farm subs. Because I knew August was definitely going to be my peak month. Because end of summer, I had gained a majority of followers in the month of July. So meaning I'd have a lot more viewers in August. So I decided to do a sub on Cringe, I know. But I was able to farm 30 subs that day. 11 in which were mine. Because I, I did um, gifting sub stakes and the like. And also Chatter's Redeem to give me a sub. So then I, of the 30 subs, I gifted 11. It could have gone for like how long max? It was a 12 hour cap. We did a 7 hour stream. I think Mac donated like $100 worth of subs. So pog you. Yeah, I think Mac donated like 12 or some shit. Resident Euler Mac. Beaten by Koboba this month though. Cake W. Um, anyway, so the power hour meme was every hour for five minutes, all time was doubled. Meaning, if 100 bits equaled one minute normally, during the power hour, it'd be worth two minutes. So, that was basically the, the joke of the power hour, because that was something that Tectone did for his subathon that I thought was really funny. So, I did it. Yeah, so, I'm not going to do another subathon until next year. For my two-year anniversary, because subathons, I think, are inherently predatory. Because the whole premise is, give me money, give me money, right? Like, I initially felt guilty, like, setting it up. But then I was like, you know, I asked my chat, do you guys want to do it? And they're like, sure. Like, some people expressed that they had money set aside to support during the subathon. And I was actually really... Not relieved, but I felt better knowing that people felt comfortable. With, like, donating for the bit, you know? Material girl! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, next subathon. I'm only gonna do subathons for one anniversary streams. Or anniversary streams. So, August 2nd, 2023 will be the next one. Do not subscribe! Chatters, if we get... What's our sub count Did I fall off in ten minutes? Yeah, Chatters, if we get one sub... We're at 79 right now, then we'll unlock Splatoon. Okay, Chatter, should I do a bonus sub only stream on Saturday or should I not? I'm debating it. Because I feel like I'm going to be very tired on Saturday. Because, like, we're going to go for the house tour and then get food after. Of course, obviously. Am I going to have a holiday overlay for Halloween or fall? I don't know. I feel like. I feel like everyone does that in the sense of it'd be basic to do it because it'd be so normy. But then it's also like kind of comfy and cozy when you see like holiday decorations up. So I don't know. I think I'll maybe I'll paint a new wallpaper. I think that's what I'll do instead. Peace I too. I'm not like other streamers. Exactly, you know. I'm the definition of a pick-me girl and I hate it. Am I gonna make Christmas cookies? Probably. I need I need to buy more sprinkles though. Cause I'm getting kinda bored of my current sprinkle selection. It's cute though. True. True. Oh, 
Like, I'm not gonna buy, like, physical decorations. I could make new overlays, but then it's like, I don't want the overlays to be like that for a whole month. I feel like it'd get boring. Star. But you can't deny the truth. She loves everybody. Build a gingerbread house? Yeah, we could do that. I would cry if it were a Santa hat or a reindeer antlers. Cry, like, in a good way? Out of happiness? Okay. I think it's, um, uh, what's a good way of saying this? Like, you know the people who, like, dress up in costumes and wear, like, the cat ears? And, like, when chatters, like, ask for it to happen? Like, I've fallen victim to this myself. <laughs> because Rainy... She did a stream where if we hit the sub go, she'll wear like a maid dress. And I was like, holy shit, oh my god, I would love that. So I don't... <laughs> I gave her like... It was either like 10 or 20 subs in a stream. It was crazy. No, I think it was 10. I think it was 10. Because... Like there's, a, there's an element of like gimmicking to those type of like incentives. But it's like... When you start wearing costumes or, like, little trinkets at chess requests, mind you, there's a huge differentiation. Or differentiation. If you wear it on your own volition and that's, like, your normal costume, that's totally fine. But if you wear it only because your chat wants you to, it just feels like they're itemizing you to an extent. And, like I said, it's fine if other people do it. It's just how I feel and I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that. Like, you know how for, like, the bonus streams, I'll, like, kind of, like, have a fit that matches the theme of the game? Like, for Cooking Mama, I had the the bandana and then the apron. And then for the Pokemon Snap, I had the, the snapback and then, like, kind of, like, explorer-looking fit. Like, those I did in my own volition. But like I said, if, if if chat has me do it, it just feels like weird. For me. For me. Stick to your guns, Queen. Exactly. It's one of those things where like it's a boundary. That I don't want to cross. Because I like I said, I don't want to do anything for people to itemize me. Because when people itemize you, that leads to simps and then stalkers. So I don't want that. You have drip in the bonus streams. The fishing stream fit is one of your faves. Really? I think that was like my mom's vest and then her flannel limo, so it's none of my shit. <laughs> Ooh, the Cult of the Lamb fit is gonna go crazy. You guys wanna see what I have? Okay, no leaks, no leaks. This is sub only, so nobody leak. It's actually kinda cool. Okay, I'm wearing shorts, so nobody look. Oh, here it is. So, oh shit. I'm fine, I'm fine. Let's go full cam for a sec. So, we have two fit options. Hi Deacon, it's 5 a.m. morning stream, I guess. So we have two fit options for Cult of the Lamb. We have this mesh. It's technically a bralette, but of course you'd wear it over a bra. But it's like this mesh. It's like lace. So I would wear like a tank top underneath. Or. I have this long dress. It's like off the shoulder. I got this in Japan, actually. This is one of the few dresses that was plus size in Japan. Um, but it's off the shoulder. It's like this clear or like somewhat sheer mesh. It's got like the lace collar. So we have two fit options for the Cult of the Lamb stream. Mind you, 
I'm not going to wear makeup because makeup is cringe and I hate American beauty standards, so I'm not going to wear fucking makeup. But I'm going to look edgy and cool. Whew. It's more fun to donate for a portrait card? Exactly. That's why I want to have incentives behind people who donate. Okay, well, Chaz, we're at 2.36 in. Let's... I think we're winding down. I think I'm about ready to end stream. So I'm tired. <laughs> so last question, guys. Any last questions before we head out? You never seen Cult of Lamb? It's aight. Oh no, yeah, Deacon just got here. So why are you up this early? You're crazy. Best stream ever. I mean, it is one for the books. You are right. Imagine I keep the VOD up. Oh, wait, I won't. Star! I missed it. Oh, that's why you gotta get up this early? Damn. Hate that. I mean, what time do you go to bed, then? Because you, you stay up late. I know you do. You go to bed really early? Is it only 10 for you? I go to bed at fucking 9, dude. My doc says I should be in bed at 9. And I should turn off all electronics at 8. But you know, I'm streaming, so... If my doc asks, say I was working late one night. Easy save. Praying I fall asleep immediately. Probably won't happen. You gotta pray harder. Everybody peace I do pray for Jakey. That they'll fall asleep quickly. <laughs> oh, I hate this song. I hate this song. I don't like this one as much either. I don't like the first half of the album as much. This one is good. Okay, Chatters. Last opportunity for my attention. Last question time. Do I have AMA tagged? Yeah, I rearranged my tags on Twitch and now AMA is the first tag. Because I remember people were clowning on me for having hashtag sub for fear of prime as my first tag, so I put it in the back. Now my first tags are AMA drawing blind playthrough. No back sitting, obviously, because we hate. Purple. Okay, thank you for redeeming with your channel points, Crystal. I appreciate it. We'll do that in a second. Sorry, I, I had the impulsive desire to type in my chat, so... I'm really mad. Backseaters. I freaking hate backseat gamers. They make me really mad. Yeah, for sure, Jakey. I'm glad you got to hang out with us today. Hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed chatting. But I had fun talking with you. Anyway, gotta, get, gotta go get ready for school. Good night. Okay, well, I hope you have a good one, Deke. We'll see you later, hon. Hope your day at school goes well in the UK. These are the questions of an Alpha True Colors. Oh, this song is so pretty. Okay, well, let's go ahead and save here for Animal Crossing. Wait, I gotta sell my fish to CJ. What am I doing? We gotta steal and leech off of CJ's clout. All this inconsistency, I've been hearing the friend stories. I'm determined to make it to the end of the stream. Any chatters want to stall and make the stream longer? Mod check, anybody? You can do so by donating during calligraphy or using your channel points. Mod check, any stallers? The reason why I'm selling my whale fish is because I already have a statue of it. Girl, come show me your true colors. You know, it's kind of crazy. I uploaded a clip of me singing Tattoo by Jordan Sparks and it got copyrighted on YouTube. Isn't that crazy? My vocals were that good enough that I got copyright claimed? Wild. Okay, anyway, let's, let's save. 
Because I am going to crash. Thank you for redeeming, Go Bobo. I appreciate it. We got two names to write, guys. Let's make it ten more. Hmm. <laughs> I'll use channel points now since I found us 1 million for VIP. That's the whole point. Big brain. Make one reward insanely expensive. That way encourages everyone to use their goddamn channel points. Hmm. I might only make it till my name. Well, I'll do your name last. To be evil. Because I am evil. I'll do your name first, Crystal. You, you've been up for a while, huh? Scratching countertops, I was screaming. Yeah, I usually skip this track. I'm skipping it. I don't like it. Imagine not having a VIP. You're gonna have that badge taken away from you in like three weeks, so I would stop talking shit. Okay, so chatters, you know the drill. If you donate or use your channel points, I'll write your name right now. We are one sub away from our sub goal of 80, meaning we'll play Splatoon 3 on stream. Wowie. I'll win the next Meg Esports mid-month tournament. Yeah, because you know nobody's going to fucking win the Mario Kart tourney because we have actual sweats. Which is fine. Sweats are fine. But it just feels bad when sweats only show up for the tourney streams. Feels bad, man. Why is my voice so deep? Wow. I was robbed in Mario Party twice. That's the way of the game, baby. You know how it is. Just no even grinding on them sidewalks. Oh, randomly become the best gamer you mean by hacking? Kinda cringe. Okay, chatters, do I am I sarcastic too much? Cause like I feel like I'm mean. Because I know there was one time where I feel like I pissed off a chatter. Because they unfollowed that day. <laughs> I'm not going to say who it was. But it was one of those things where it's like... They probably just couldn't tell I was joking. Which is fine. It do be like that. I like your sarcasm? Good. You better. Hacks like you and Mario Party? Damn. Man, hit me where it hurts. I'm so sad that I don't have bits anymore. I should have opted out of that silly beta. It shows playfulness. Yeah, I think it's fine to, like, goof and gap a little bit. But I just need to hold back sometimes. Yeah. Oh, wait, you can't hear the game. Oh, that's awkward. It's just silence. Oops. <laughs> awkward. Anyway, thank you, Crystal, for redeeming with your channel points. Also, thank you for hanging out with us for this bonus stream. You should go to sleep right now. Because it's very late for you. I think you were here the whole stream, huh? Unless... Guys, should we go for 12 more hours? Type 1.
Why would you mean something to be rude exactly? Like, why would... Like, I feel like your chatters would know me to some extent. Like, you guys have to know that I'm not being mean. It's like, I think a big thing is tone indicators. Like, you can tell when I'm joking. And, like, if I ever get to a point where I'm actually upset or mad, I would just end stream. Because it's not worth going off of your chat. It's not worth being in a bad mood. If I'm ever in a really bad mood, I would fucking end stream. You know? Thanks for the phone stream, of course. Thank you for chatting. Chatting the whole time? You're crazy. But get some rest, Crystal. Next stream might be Saturday. We'll see. If not, it'll be Sunday. We got Cool Bull Bull redeemed with the channel points. Chatter's last call. Why well, didn't change my category? Fuck. Guys, we're playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> Chatter's last call. If you want me to write your name, you can donate to the channel or use your channel points. Let's go. God, I subbed twice for you. Yeah, once again, I appreciate Kobobo for the gift of today. You helped us get this bonus stream. An extra two hours of content. Thank you. It's not often that I'll do, like, spontaneous sub-goal streams. I usually do it if it's only for, like, an in-game event. Because, one, I want to farm subs. And, two, I think it's funny to farm. Because, <laughs> like, I... Okay, let me go full cam. Or, or, we're done with calligraphy. I... I want people to understand. Let's turn off the sub goals. That way I can prove my point further. Um, I appreciate any donations or money that people give to help support the stream. Whether it be bits or I guess direct cheers. Subs or actual donations. I appreciate it. Um, and I want people who do donate to feel like their donations have value. Like, I knew, I know I do shale a lot. I do jokingly ask for subs and shit, but it's one of those things where, like, you see streamers, once they get to a certain size or a certain point, like, I don't know how to explain it. I do want people to feel. That what they're doing to help support doesn't have value or meaning. Because, like, just looking at our, like, sub count, it's insane. Like, even if Kobobo didn't gift 23, we'd still be at, like, 70 subs, which is crazy. Crazy. Or sorry, 60. I did my math wrong. It'd be, which is very high, in my opinion, for someone my size. And it's one of those things where a lot of it comes from, like, the generosity of the viewers, which I appreciate a lot. But I just want to make sure that people get something in return. Like, it'd be the calligraphy we do every day. It'd be the portrait cards. It could possibly be bonus streams, whether it be sub goal streams or spontaneous ones like today. Because I want people to feel like their time they spend with me, along with the money they spend towards stream, is worthwhile. I like to donate because I feel like I relate to you and to show your time is worth it. I appreciate that. I think that's one of the things that I look for in creators as well. Like, if I can see myself in some capacity to them, I feel like I gravitate towards them a lot. And it's one of those things that we told. Like, I explained this to you last time, Kobobo, when you drop 20 subs because you're a maniac. <laughs> like, you have to skirt that line very carefully. Like, just keep in mind, always prioritize yourself over people online. Like, i.e. content creators. So just make sure, don't become a simp, okay? Not allowed. I have a command for that, actually. It's funny. <gasps> Please, chatters, no simping in chat. Go touch grass. Do not itemize, idolize, or sexualize your streamer. She is not your online girlfriend. Respect your boundaries and do not direct vulgar message towards her. Call her by names, etc. It makes her uncomfy. Please be a wholesome chatter. 
Easy. <laughs> um, where was I going with that point? But yeah, I, I talk about this all the time, but like, I just want to make sure that people have a good time in the actual stream. And then also I have a good time as well, because I think a lot of people see small streamers as wasting their time. Um, because, you know, people are like, oh, you don't make money or your viewer count is very low. But people fail to realize is that even if you have one person watching, that's one person choosing to spend their time with you, their valuable time with you. So if I have one person, if I got 10, 10 is great. But even if I have one, that's still one person. And I want to make sure they're spending their time. Or rather, they're not going to regret spending their time with me. Is I think the, like, the more cynical way of how I see it. But that's how I see it in my mind. Like, that's one of the reasons why I usually don't sad post. I don't, like, vent too much. I, got to, I definitely allude to shit, but I don't, like, trauma dump too crazy hard. Because, like, I know some people see it as an escape, and I want to respect that. Okay, I think I'm gonna end now. I'm like... You can see me, I'm falling asleep. I've... Oh, fuck. I've noticed that I'm developing a twitch in my right eye. I think it's because I'm too much screen time. Because I've been working on my computer a lot these past two weeks. Yeah, don't be donating your college funds. <laughs> Awkward. Let's turn that sub goal off stream now. <laughs> um okay i'm gonna end it here guys once again thank you to everybody who watches me thank you for everybody who i'm slurring am i having a stroke nope i'm not having a stroke we have strokes in my family so i get worried sometimes that's a trauma dump lamau okay i hope everyone enjoys the rest of the night everybody better go to fucking bed I'm looking at you. And you. And you. I will be live again. For sure. Whoa. Sorry. Look at that highlight. Holy shit. I don't wear lip gloss or anything. Ooh. Sorry. That was cool. I got distracted. I had a moment of vanity right there. I was... I do things sometimes and I forget I'm not farming. I'm not farming, I promise you. Don't farm the simps unintentionally. Okay. I will for sure be live on Sunday with the Mario Kart tournament. Bananas only, you guys know the rules. If you win top three, you get VIP. Holy shit, crazy. I might, keyword might, do a stream on Saturday evening. It just depends on how tired I am. I might. And if we do do it Saturday, then we'll do Aurora hunting in late night. We'll see. We will say. But that will be a sub only. So, everybody, make sure you got go like notifications turned on. The way you get people when I go live again. My, oh my god, girl, it's early though. It's a normal 11 to 12 stream. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's not. I mean, I guess early for you. <laughs> And it's just got to send more alarms. You know, you got to jerry-rig a pail of water over your bed, and then that'll fall on you and wake you up, for sure. For sure. Okay, enough stalling. I should go to bed. I still have to clean up my bed, too. Because, like, when I stream, I... Because my desk is here, and then my bed is over there. So I put everything that's on my desk on my bed. And then I have to move it back when I go to bed. It's annoying as fuck. Gonna try and fix my sleep schedule for Sunday? You better. Okay, anyway. Dude, uh, this is gonna turn into a sleeping stream. This is a problem. Okay, anyway. I'll be live again Sunday. If everybody who's here and still here, if you aren't already, go follow my goddamn second channel. We're gonna start doing weekly painting streams on peace and underscore art on Twitch in October. So everybody, 
politely go follow. I'd appreciate it. Anyway, I hope everybody had a good time. I had a fun time chilling with you guys. I will see you all on Sunday, maybe Saturday. Follow me on Twitter to keep up. I didn't post on Twitter that I'm live. Oops, okay. Bye.